Hi there, I'm Andre from Pink Motorcycles and I'm here at Eichmer 2024. I'm here at the QJ Motor stand. Uh, now you might not have heard of QJ Motor. If you've uh, seen any of my videos from the last few Eichmers, uh, you might have an idea about them. Um, they do make some bikes under other brands as well, so you might see a few similarities here. And they also have had a partnership with um, MV Augusta. So they had a few bikes that were based around MV Augusta bikes, I think, where they'd actually got detuned versions of the engines and swing arms and exhausts. So a few people who saw my video last year and said uh, it's a direct copy, and you're right, it is. Not only is it a direct copy, it was actually an MV Augusta exhaust and engine. Nevertheless, I'm interested to see what they have that's new this year, so I'll show you around the stand and see what they've got. So first up, we have this SRK 800. Now that is a inline four 800cc sports bike. Yeah, for a naked sports bike, I think that looks pretty cool. It looks fairly well specced. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the QJ Motor brand isn't really known in the UK, uh, so I doubt we'd actually get it in this particular branding and format. But looking at how that's accessorized up with those uh, Brembo brakes, uh, coming up to the top, fully adjustable suspension, looks like there's a TFT dash, as uh, Marzocchi rear shock uh, with an external preload adjuster. So, yeah, I think that's quite tidy. So, I'm going to do a quick lap of the Super Sports. And yeah, this is their SRK 400RR. It's a 400cc, 30.5 kilowatt. Super Sports looks kind of basic, but it's got some nice touches on it. It's nicely finished. This one here is a 450. Uh, and again, you know, it's been, looks a little bit more beefed up, uh, particularly with the, the shape of that tank. There's certainly elements of uh, MV Augusta creeping in there. Uh, I guess it's still fairly basic uh, in terms of what it actually does, but not a bad looking bike. Right then, now we're into MV Augusta territory. So this is the SRK 921RR. Uh, now you might start to notice a few similarities if you saw my MV Augusta video. This one is in here as a Super Sports, so it's got you know that Marzocchi uh, steering damper, it's got fully adjustable suspension, got a nice big screen up front. It's got this tank which is certainly reminiscent of MV. And then coming down the side, you've got that you know the, the engine located in there, and then a very MV feature is that uh, quadruple slash cut exhaust behind the, the rear pegs. A yeah, nice looking single sided swing arm on the back there. If I give you a look down the bike from back to front, yeah, that looks, uh, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty cool really. Now I don't know if we're actually going to get this in the UK, uh, but I can certainly see how the, that would appeal. Uh, what we have here is the SRK 800RR. It doesn't have that crazy exhaust down the side, but that front end certainly looks a little bit, I don't know, H2, something like that. Um, it does just have a, a single exhaust, but again it's got adjustable mods actually suspension, uh, coming around the back, uh, yeah, you know, if you didn't know that that was a QJ Moto and you saw that pull up somewhere, you'd probably have to have a closer look to see exactly what it was. So in here we have the SRK 600 RS, the 554cc 8-valve twin, 6-speed. Uh, um, yeah, I, again, quite like the look of it. They do seem to have a bike for every category. Many of these will be sold under different brands in other parts of the world. Now then, these two look a little bit more interesting. First of all, we have the SRK Super Sports. Now I believe that this is the litre bike, the next evolution of the bike that we saw last year. Actually, that, look, that looks pretty good. Um, you know, think what you might about QJ Moto, whether you know of them or not. But if that was sold under another brand, uh, ask yourself, would you still think that was a pretty incredible looking motorcycle? This is about as close as I can get to it, I'm afraid. If I come around this side, I'll show you the QJ Moto Raw, which is another version of that, but this time in a Super Naked. And that really does look very mean indeed. You know, I think that is an incredible looking motorcycle. Uh, yeah, again, not sure where it's actually going to be sold and where it will be available, but that does look uh, like a serious piece of kit. Wow. So before I get to the real adventure bikes, I just thought I'd show you this. Here they have a, a QJ Motor SA SFT, which I think is a 900cc adventure bike, with a spoked wheel sidecar on the side, which looks uh, kind of interesting, a bit of luggage space, I don't know if you've ever been in a sidecar. But yeah, they're certainly uh, interesting things to try. I'd recommend it to anyone. And if you'd rather have one that's a cruiser, this is a 400cc cruiser with a sidecar on the side. Now you might think you need more weight, more power than that to drag a sidecar along with you, but honestly you don't. You know, it's basically enough to keep them moving. I think you have to think about more of them in terms of lightweight cars rather than motorcycles. Now then, I'm not going to cover every naked bike they have here. I'm just going to go through a few of them. So here have the SRK S125S uh, and the NX125. I mean, they really do have uh, quite a wide variety of 125s, all very slightly different. And even down to this little thing here, looks a bit like a, a Grom Mace, it's called Little Flying Man, uh, like a little super sports with tiny wheels. 
Uh, they also have an automatic transmission uh, with a paddle shift, so something a little bit novel, or the SRV300A. And now we're here into the adventure bikes. This is the SRT 600SX. It's 220 kilo, 660cc twin. Uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, it looks all right. It's quite heavy. Some of them are in this category. Uh, but yeah, not a bad looking motorbike. Perhaps of a little more interest is this SRT 900SX. Uh, yeah, it's still a bit of a lump, 264 kilos. Mm, there's a lot of metal on there. Uh, but nevertheless, it's 904cc twin. Comes with a camera on the front. I'm sure there's derivations of that that have cropped up under other brands here and there. So that's a bit more like it. This one here is the SRT 800 RX. 198 kilos with 21 litres of fuel. Has that sort of rally styling to it. Comes with tubeless wheels, 19 inch front wheel. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty cool. This one's even got a sort of competition exhaust with a carbon fibre end cap. They do have various others. In fact, they seem to have one in pretty much every displacement. Uh, this one here is the SRT 600X. Here we have an SRT uh, 700X, uh, if you, you know, on the extra 100 cc's. Uh, a lot of these are pretty heavy, you know, they're kind of uh, 200 kilos plus, some of them well over 200 kilos. So I think it was just that 800 that's the most interesting one I've seen so far. Uh, nearly done. I'm just going to have a quick run around these cruisers and then I will uh, move on. So this is the SRV 900V, it's a big old thing, sort of fake girder fork at the front. It's actually got a conventional fork. Uh, inside there um, and again available in the 700 SRV 700 also available in a 600 um, another 600 and here we have the SRV 400 VS and then just to finish up the last two we have the SRV 125 and then what looks like to have a fairly similar engine the SRV 12 um, I'm assuming that is also a 125 V twin uh, unfortunately without really having ridden them without knowing much about them it's quite hard to to talk through them when they're all nearly all have the same paint job just slightly different displacements uh, and setups but maybe that's the idea you know they, they sell a bike for everyone you know, if you want a bike in a slightly bigger or smaller engine they have one so having been all around the stand I do think this 800 SRT is actually the most compelling of all the bikes uh, you know I quite like the styling it's not it's not huge it's got you know sort of a, a cast a swing arm down there uh, it's got a fairly narrow seat, it doesn't have all the boxes already on the back, but to give you a look up and over the tank at the dash, you know, there's certainly rem reminiscent of what you get on the T7. So as this was the most interesting bike for me here, I think I will just dwell on it a bit longer. Um, it is, as I said, 198 kilos, 21 litres of fuel, uh, seat height 830 millimetres, which is kind of high, uh, but it's, yeah, it's an 800cc, 68 kilowatt, 77 newton metre, adventure bike which is certainly kind of interesting you know uh, amongst all these others that look kind of the same with different displacements uh, I think this and that power plant in there uh, is something a little bit different so there you have it that is my look around the frankly vast QJ motor stand here at Eichmann uh, it does seem they have a lot of very similar bikes in every possible step of displacements uh, some of them more interesting than others I do like what they're doing with MV Augusta and some of the super sports and super nakeds that are coming out of that uh, and also that 800cc sub 200 kilo uh, adventure bike looks kind of interesting. So uh, yeah, it'd be good to see what else uh, they come up with over time. But I uh, hope that's been interesting and useful. And if it is, uh, please check out my other content from Eichner. Thank you for watching.